This is going to be an update on this program I previously shared with you called Lossless Scaling that allows you to get frame generation on every single game. So now, it is not free. And the reason why I am promoting it is because we did a podcast with one of the developers. So I consider them to be members of our community fighting the good fight against blurry games. And they keep improving this program. They send me a review code so I can check it out. And let me tell you, the improvement is significant. The motion interpolation artifacts have been greatly reduced. And I tried the older version in Horizon Forbidden West, and it was, it was not good enough. Okay, I, I would not play the game with that older version because the interpolation artifacts surrounding the character were too distracting, okay? Now, you can still see them, but the, it is so much better now. And I would definitely use it for this game because I tried the FSR3 frame generation mod for RTX GPUs on this game, and it is not improving anything. I don't know why. Some say that it is because the NVIDIA low latency feature has some frame, frame pacing issues and that is messing up the interpolation. So you see 100 frames per second you know, rock solid on the MSI numbers here. And when you move the camera, it looks like 50. Okay, it's not improving anything. And I, after a week, I downloaded the latest mod from Nexus Mod. I listened to your feedback, changed the settings. I cannot get this, <laughs> you know, FSR3 frame generation mod to make, to work well. It just, it doesn't work. So this has been the best I can get on this game. I cannot, you know, with 60 frames per second, I wouldn't play the game. So I need more motion clarity. That's why we are doing this. So from 60, you go to 120. And on top of that, on my LGC one, I use OLED Motion Pro High. So I use BFI on top of that to improve the motion clarity further. So it's 2.6 X more, okay? So to go from 60, <laughs> to 312 like motion clarity is just so gigantic that I don't care about the small defects, okay? So now I'm going to do this. I'm gonna show you, even on my camera, okay? We're talking about YouTube, 60 frames per second recording, but I'm still expecting you to be able to notice the difference because the camera is recording the screen from further away, okay? So the pixels are condense in a smaller area so that might allow you to see the difference so right now it is off i'm getting 60 frames per second locked i am not using lossless scaling but now notice this the gpu utilization is 75 percent okay 75 percent now when i turn that on you will see that it is a lot more demanding so it is not just double your frame rate for free okay Keep that in mind. So if you're getting 60 FPS, but your GPU is already like at 85, 90%, if you turn that on, you might not get 60 FPS <laughs> anymore, and then you might have to lower the settings even more. So let's take a look at it. See the motion clarity, okay? And hold that, hold that in your mind. So I'm going to turn it on, and you'll see the difference. So let's go turn that lossless scaling on. You come here, just click scale, go to the game, and you will see, boom, you see that stutter? That's, that's when you know it is activated. So now take a look at the difference now. It is, it is big, it's very, very big because you're getting now double the frame rate, okay? And trust me, in person, it is very, very noticeable and definitely worth the downsides. So now take a look at the at the character. Surrounding the character, you can see the artifacts, okay? It is distracting. This is not great. But I would take this any day just to get the better motion clarity because most of the time I'm not looking at the character. I'm looking at the environment. And when I see enemies the enemies don't have that artifacts it's, it's not that bad it's mostly surrounding the character 
and when I'm aiming, you see the, the artifacts on the hood? That was greatly improved too. On the previous uh, version, the artifacts on the hood were a lot more noticeable. And if you use motion interpolation from your TV, you will definitely see the interpolation artifacts on the hood elements. Something like this, like a scope, it's gonna be very, very bad. You're gonna see like four <laughs> scopes when you move the camera. And here, this is not bad. I can definitely see it, sometimes more than others, sometimes it's almost not there, but it is okay, it is okay. I can definitely live with that. Now the input lag is not stellar, but it is, it is not bad, it is not very bad, look, this is the input lag. Pava, 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 tada, tada. It is there, okay? It's like 60 FPS, okay? Maybe a little bit more, but the input lag penalty is not a deal breaker. This has a very, very good, you know, the input lag is impressive, I would say. For what it is doing, it is very, very impressive. It is very, very good in my opinion. Let's jump, so you see when, when I jump, see? But almost immediately, look. Ta -da. Ta -da. Ta -da. And it also has to do with the animation. Okay, it depends on the game. Some games have a longer animation and it feels more um, you know, sluggish. So now, take a look at the performance now. The GPU utilization is now 92-98%. So this might drop below 60. Now, the developer, one of the developers told me that they are working on improving this even if the frame rate drops so you don't need like a rock solid frame rate all the time now i tested that and it is st still you, you can see each other okay if the frame rate drops below 60 you're gonna see some jumpiness but they are working on i don't know how they are working so even if the frame rate drops to like 58, 57, and it goes back to 60, you don't, you don't suffer that, okay? And that's so important, especially if I am using OLED Motion Pro, which I would definitely, I mean, that's the reason why I use this interpolation. That's the reason why I would deal with the artifacts, just because I do this, and now the motion clarity is just absolutely incredible, okay? Yes. I'm losing a lot of brightness. I have to tweak the settings, but this is like, <laughs> this is now so much better that, yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I would take a lot of artifacts just to get this clarity. You see right now on is actually dimmer. Dynamic tone mapping on is dimmer than off. <laughs> so yeah, I have to tweak the settings. Um, maybe use you know, RTX HDR instead, well, that has a little bit of performance penalty. Maybe try Auto HDR, the SDR, HDR trick to see which one is brighter here. But yeah, some interpolation artifacts here, but the motion clarity is is very, very good. Now you see some, some textures are, are kind of, that might be the game. See, this, this looks like some of, some things are looking kind of double. Yeah, this, this game has some oddities, <laughs> but it looks very, very good. So now, let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions. Um, for example, this works for videos too. This works for videos. It works for emulators. It works for 30 FPS. All you need to do is you need to lock the frame rate to half of the refresh rate. So I have right now, VRR is off. I have 120 hertz, 4K 120 hertz resolution. And you cannot use exclusive full screen. You can use full screen or borderless full screen. So I have 4K 120 hertz, and then I have the, the frame rate of the game locked to half, okay? 
60. Of course, if you have a 240 hertz monitor and you're getting 120 FPS, the motion interpolation artifacts are gonna be even less, okay? And, and of course, the input, input uh, response is gonna be a lot better too. So, yeah, and if you have like, you know, 480 hertz, uh, all or something like that, you're getting 240, that might be absolutely fantastic. I'm not sure if this can do that or if there's a limit. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely great to have. Okay, great to have. In this game, I cannot get something better than this right now. There's no way I can get this clarity here with any other way on this game. And it looks good enough to me. So I, I, I really appreciate this developers keeping improving this app. This is, a, this is not new. This program is not new. And they still they are still improving it. And you can read it on their page. They're still improving. You see an update. Let me see when when was this update? Uh, this update March 7. Okay? March 7. Um, so they they keep reworking to detect UI more effectively. As a result, a significant reduction in UI ghosting and less impact on the main image in case of incorrect. You see, so they keep they keep improving this uh, this app. So, yeah, that's very very good. We definitely need that. Let me know your thoughts and opinions, and if you have any questions.